Hey Penelope, could you come downstairs for a minute? I need to talk to you. You are not in trouble. What is it, mommy? Let's sit on the couch, then I'll tell you what we're going to talk about. If it's about the fire drill at school tomorrow, then yes, I already know that there is a fire drill tomorrow. Yes, sweetie, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. I know you're nervous about the fire drill tomorrow, so I just got off a Zoom meeting with your principal and your teachers, since it's going to be during your English class, and they told me that you will be allowed to use your phone to film the fire drill tomorrow. What? Mrs. Ellie is gonna let me record the fire drill tomorrow? Isn't it prohibited to film at school? Well, yes, it is prohibited to film at school without permission, but Mrs. Ellie and Principal Jennifer told me that you have permission to record it tomorrow. They also told me since you already know where to go from Mrs. Ellie's classroom from last year, you can carry the flag. Oh wow! I never really get to carry the flag, because I always have to use my hands to cover my ears when the fire alarm goes off. Well, we've got an easy solution to that. Remember that pair of ear protection you use for our home fire drills? Yeah. Are you suggesting that I bring my ear protection to school tomorrow? Yes, Penelope, you should bring your ear protection to school tomorrow, because it'll help with the noise. Okay, Mommy. I know you can do it, Penelope. Be my tough angel for me tomorrow. Hi, Penelope. Hi, Everly. Are you excited for our next project in class today? Yeah. I can't wait to see what we're making in class. And you do know that there is a fire drill today, right? Yeah, and even though I know it's gonna happen and that there's not going to be a fire, I'm still nervous about it. It'll be okay, Penelope. I'm here for you. I understand your fear of the fire alarms. It's a good thing I packed my ear protection ahead of time. Good thinking, Penelope. That's for sure gonna help with the noise. Are you gonna lead the class over to our spot? Yeah, Everly. I'm gonna carry the flag for our classroom, and I have also been given permission to record it for my mommy. Wow, Penelope. That's quite unusual for you to be allowed to record stuff at our school, because the rules state that you cannot film the school without permission. But you have permission, and we know Gabe's going to record it too, and they don't have a problem with him doing it as long as he doesn't post it on social media. Oh, hello there new boy, what's your name? Oh, hi there new girl, my name is Christopher Percy, but you can just call me Chris. I assume you're the new troublemaker named Cleo Grace, right? That's right, I'm Cleo Grace. A new troublemaker made by Austin the Superior V under 2021 for Gabe the Slacker. I assume you hate school. Yeah, I hate school with a burning passion. Well don't worry, during class, I'll pull the fire alarm to get us out of class. Oh, you don't need to do it today, because we have a fire drill during first period. Oh, well that's good. I heard that your sister over there got permission to record the fire drill. So why don't we record it too? I don't care if we get in trouble. Great idea, Cleo! They'll never know we recorded the fire drill. Good morning, Mrs. Ellie. Good morning, Penelope. How are you? I'm doing fine. So you know there is a fire drill today, right? Yes, Mrs. Ellie, but even though I know it's coming, and even though I have ear protection with me, I'm still nervous about it because of that loud noise. It's gonna be okay, Penelope, there won't be any fire in the building, it will just be a drill. I'm glad you brought ear protection, because that's going to help with the noise, because I know the fire alarm hurts your ears. And you do know that you have permission to record it, right? 
Yeah, and I was thinking of showing it to my mommy and daddy so they can see me be a strong and tough girl for them. You know Penelope, you are a strong girl, I just know you can do it. You can also carry the flag and lead the class to our spot. Do you remember which way we go for the fire drills? If I remember correctly, we go out the door at the end of the hallway and go to the field where our class number is. That's right, Penelope. And do you know which number we go line up at? 10. Very good. I know you can do it, because you're a brave, strong, and tough girl. Oh, there's the bell to get lined up out in the hallway. Do you want to just go put your stuff by your seat, pull out your phone and hearing protection, and get the flag? Okay, Mrs. Ellie. Good morning class, today, we are going to continue reading Green Eggs and Ham, but before we do, I need to let you all know that at about 8.30, we have a fire drill, and as you can probably see, Penelope has the flag because she is going to lead the class, and she will also be recording it because her parents want to see her being brave. So is that why Penelope has her phone out? Yes, Lauren, that is why Penelope has her phone out, because she has been given permission to record the fire drill. Anyways, we go out this door over here, then we turn right, and then go out the door at the end of the hallway, and make sure you follow Penelope because she is leading us, so make sure you look for the flag with the number 10 on it. One question, Mrs. Ellie, what do we do if the door feels hot to the touch? Well, if the door is hot, we do not open it, because there could be fire on the other side, so if it's hot, we go out the window. Anyways, when you hear the fire alarm go off, you are gonna line up. Okay, that makes sense. That's right, and the alarm you will hear from the horn strobe sounds like this. Uh, 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 uh. That's right, and out of the intercom, we'll hear this sound. That's right, so when you hear those sounds, you're gonna line up. Once we are there, I have to take attendance to make sure everyone who is in this classroom right now is also with us outside, so do we need to stay together during a fire drill? Yes! Yes, you all need to stay together, go to the right spot, and do not get distracted by any of the posters on the walls in the hallway. Um... Mrs. Ellie, what do we do if we get separated from the class, or if we are on a hall pass, and the fire alarm goes off? Well Sarah, if you get separated from the class, or if you are out in the hallway on a hall pass and the fire alarm goes off, just go out the closest exit to your location and look for our flag. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, and I will warn you guys, even when I know the fire alarm is going to go off, it startles me every time, so don't be surprised if I shriek and jump. Here comes the fire drill announcement. Students and staff, please pardon this interruption. In a few minutes we will be conducting a fire drill. Please take this time to review procedures for your room. Thank you. We already went over the procedures, so you all can just hang out until the fire alarm goes off. Once I'm finished with attendance out there, you may chat. Are you all prepared for the first ever fire drill of first grade Penelope? Yes, Sarah, I'm all prepared, so I'm good to go. I got my headphones on, I have my phone recording, and I have the flag. That's good, Penelope. We're bracing ourselves for this, in case Mrs. Ellie shrieks and jumps. You can do it, Penelope. You are brave, and I believe in you. Our family and friends say you can do it. Thank you, Mary. We believe in you, Penelope. You can do it. Thank you for the support. It really helps me in times like this. All right, everyone, line up behind Penelope. Great job, guys. Now let's go out there.
private job class. Now let me take attendance to make sure everyone is with us. Penelope. Here. Everly. Here. Sarah. Here. Allison. Here. Okay, we have all our students accounted for. Great job, Penelope. You are very brave. to wait until the bell rings to go back in. Great job boys and girls during the fire drill. And let's all give it up for Penelope who was very brave and led us to our spot and back here. You did a very good job, Penelope. You are so brave. You didn't even scream when the alarm went off. I knew I could get through it without screaming and crying. Hey, Penelope, I just got an email from your teacher saying you did an amazing job during the fire drill. You didn't even scream when the fire alarm went off. I knew you could do it. Yeah, and everyone was proud of me, including my classmates in my other classes. You know, Penelope, I am also proud of you for being brave and calm during the fire drill. For your reward, we'll go to Urban Air this weekend with your friends. Yay! Thank you so much, Mommy. Anything for my first baby girl.